All right, I want to point it out all the waiting involved in getting into a round. And then at the end of the match, uh, it takes a long time to exit as well. So there's a whole lot of downtime there. Now what we're going to see here, this usually doesn't start uh, right away. It's, it's, it's just random. Usually it takes like 35, 37 seconds before it even starts from zero. So this is unusually fast. It's not uncommon for it to take almost a minute uh, just to reach this part. Now this part here is another wait. Now we've match make, uh, or we did a matchmaking. Now we're waiting for players, whatever that means. We could do that with, with the map being interactive. Okay, that's literally the fastest I've ever gotten in the game. Now, here, add on a 60 second timer. That makes it even worse. And then after the timer is done, there's another countdown of 10 seconds. So it's just adding on more and more time. Now watch what happens when I try to exit out. Okay, well look how long it takes to return to lobby. Now at the end of a match, uh, it's basically the same, same principle here. I'm just doing it because I need some brevity in this video. Alright, ready? And wait, wait, and wait. It's not uncommon. I mean, I've I've actually experienced three minute wait times. Uh, if you combine getting into a round and exiting back to the menu, uh, I've saw one guy uh, complain today. He hit four minutes. That's excessive. All right, so we're out of the round. And as you can see, it took a little while, but it usually takes a lot longer. I've reduced my video settings. I don't know if that affected it or not, but you know, something has changed uh, in this particular case. But it often takes uh, two to three times this long uh, just to, you know, exit out. And also in, in starting a game, there's a, usually a lot longer wait. So this was an unusually quick uh, scenario for me. Uh, but usually it's just, you know, a long wait. Like this video. <laughs> Alright, thanks.